Cookie Swirl. See? <laughs> There is a new short creepy story that I haven't played yet. It's the Christmas horror story Christmas special. So let's go on through the library of horrors. Here it is, the Krampus. Let's open the book and take a look. The story is a little boy who found a strange book. Oh, was voiced by someone's seven-year-old son. This is his first attempt. Aww. One late winter night, you can't sleep. While your mother is fast asleep, you decide to move into the living room. You found a strange old book by the fireplace and decided to read it. So there's the Christmas tree, crackling fire, cookies! It came upon a Christmas Eve not so long ago. A beast deformed in stature walked out from the snow. Its eyes were sharp and wild, jagged teeth like shards. It went from house to house, leaving footprints in the yard. Okay, that's... Quite creepy. Oh, there's a snowman out there. Are we actually gonna see the mother? Turn on the light. Open the door. Open this door. Open any door. Open these drawers. <gasps> Mom? Mom, is that you? <gasps> kitty! Where's the light? Click on the light. <gasps> Hi, kitty. Not much of a laundry room. Take the screwdriver? No, can't. Okay, kitty, well, the door's open in case you wanna go out. Help yourself to a cookie and some milk. Ooh, look at the giant kitchen. Oh man, we should move the table in here because you've got to cook and chop all of your food and then walk all the way over here to go and eat it. Grab the milk. Take, I took the milk <gasps> to give to the cat. Pour cereal? Tell me we're not eating cereal with a fork. That just wouldn't work out very well. Bathroom, mm-hmm, very nice, okay. What do we have the bucket for? Giant tub, there's a door over here. Can't go out. You can still see the snowman. Hi kitty. Hello? Mom, are you sleeping? Mom? Mom? She must be asleep. There's the glass of milk. Oh, that looks so delicious. Turn on the radio. Boy. He's looking for you. I'm scared. Who? Who's looking for me? Santa? My mom? Glancing into windows, warm with light and life, it was here to reconcile an old and bitter strife. It had a bag that screamed and cried as it dragged it on the ground. An awful thing, just an awful thing, to have to hear that sound. It threw its nose into the air and began to sniff and snort. The demon was onto something, but what? I can't report. Oh, we're getting little pieces of the story as we play more and more of the game. Oh, there's another snowman. Was there always a second snowman out there? I don't remember if that shadow creepy snowman was always there. See if we can wake up mom. Mom? 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 Listen. I think I can hear her in her room. Did you hear that? I thought I heard her. Okay, the kitty is still there. <gasps> what is that sound? No, that snowman wasn't there, was it? I hear mom. Mom. <gasps> She's snoring. <laughs> she sounds like a lion. <gasps> oh, the fire. The fire went out. Please tell me that's not blood. What What happened? Will the story tell us? Snowman, did you see what happened? Either one of you? Okay, that that's very creepy. That's creepy. Wow, look at how many stockings we have hanging. Look at how many brothers and sisters I have. I've got a giant family. Okay, mom, can you get up? There's, uh, there's something dripping <gasps> from the fireplace. Open the drawer. Nothing. Oh, it's just a snowman. Come on, Mom, please wake up. Mom. Do you hear her snoring? Ow! <laughs> I did not expect to see the demon! It's gone. It's out of the fire now. Oh. We need to wake up Mom right now. Mom! There was something else trying to get in through the chimney. Mom. Mom. She almost woke up. She went back to sleep. You can hear the snoring. Mom. What am I gonna do? How do I get her to wake up? <gasps> There's another story. Okay, we can read more of the story. In the bitter cold, you could smell its breath of rot and discontent. The chains that draped its frame made its spine look broke and bent. The wind, it howled in vain to warn the people of this beast. Its cries went unregarded as people sat before their feast. Okay. I keep checking, I'm, I'm scared it's just gonna reappear again. Come on, mom. Oh. Oh. It's 
breaking! It needs new batteries. That probably happens all the time, right? There's nothing unusual about that. Come on, Mom. Mom. She still won't open up. I hear something. The fridge is making a sound. What? What is that? It's like a strawberry-looking snowman. That was not there! Wasn't I looking out this window? I would have seen that. I would have seen that. Did I see you? I don't remember. <gasps> what? This fell. Don't look back. Don't look back? Ah! I looked back and I saw you! Oh no, it's probably going back to the chimney! No, you don't. I'm gonna tell my mom on you if you try to come into the house one more time. I don't see it. It's not there. Little boy, he is looking for your city. That radio station's boring. Maybe the fish will start singing again. Fish, do you feel like singing again? Come on, mom. Mom? I mean, she can kind of hear me. I mean, she knows that I'm calling, but she's probably really, really, really tired. Where's the neighborhood at? It's like we live in the middle of nowhere. There's no other houses out there. Hi, kitty. Did you see it too? It was pretty creepy. <gasps> We've got another page in the story! The demon ceased its searching when it came upon my house. Oh no. I did my best to hide and stay as quiet as a mouse. I walked back into the shadow, in the corner of my room, voiceless, breathless, terrified. What was that thing of gloom? I heard it leap onto the deck and dropped its sack upon the floor. A resounding thud, caked in mud. It wasn't crying anymore. Please tell me we're not going to hear that. No. Yeah, Mom, it's time to get up. Please, we can sit by the fire and eat cookies. Mom, she's really asleep. Come on, kitty. Come sit with me by the fire, please. Why can't I pick this up? Ah! Door flew open. I can't go out there. There's that snowman, right? It looks like a rotten strawberry. <laughs> Door closed. Come on, Mom. Mom. Oh, the light is off. Ooh. What? The shadow snowman? Yeah, he can come up to the window. Hi. Hello. Your eyes are kind of creepy. Is it watching me? Oh, those eyes are watching me. Oh. I don't like that. But I, I'm sure it wants to look at the beautiful Christmas tree and watch me eat the cookies by the fire. Nothing's up here, right? Okay. Well, we can listen to the creepy radio. Little boy, he found your city and is now looking for your street. <gasps> Another page. I left my room and crept down the stairs to see if it got in, hoping it wasn't that demon who they said would eat my skin. Ah! I stood before the fireplace. <gasps> the front door was wide opened. I don't know how this thing got in, but I had nowhere left to hide. No, I'll hide behind the tree. I'll hide behind the tree. I'll hide outside and pretend I'm a snowman. I can do that. I can do that. I'm just gonna hide right here. Just reach for one cookie, though. I'm gonna take one cookie with me. Look, there's even, like, a little hole through the tree that I can see right through. I'll know if the demon got in. Won't I? I don't know. All right, little snowman. I'll be right back. Keep an eye on the tree. Oh, I hope the front door is not still open. What is that? Is that the fish? Sounds like somebody's humming Merry Christmas carols. <laughs> Kitty, is that you? Sounds like it's coming from upstairs. Mom? Mom? She won't wake up. I'm on my own. Oh, the, the shower curtain is closed. I don't know who it is. Are you singing Christmas carols in here? You should sing them outside. Go from neighbor to neighbor. They might appreciate that more. <laughs> Open the curtain. Oh, there's nobody there. Oh, that's a really... Oh, you did get in! Yes? Hello? Okay, everything else looks perfectly normal. Wait a minute, there's a new snowman! Hey! It's got a Halloween face! <laughs> yeah, it's got a, um, it's got a Michael Myers face. Mom? Where is Mom? What am I gonna do? Back to the radio. A little boy. He found your street and is now looking for your house. Okay, well, it's definitely not the demon then, because the demon was already inside of the house. But we get to listen to another part of the story. It Read. turned its face from the fire with a scowl you'd have to see. The demon had a quarrel, all right, and the quarrel was with me. Why? Pulled out from its pocket of its robe, all blacked and charred, a burning piece of paper, and it handed me its card. The card read only Krampus before I felt its claws upon my throat. Huh, okay. Well, that's a nice story, I guess. Mom, it's time to wake up! <laughs> Mom? Mom? Oh, I can open the door. Mom, what's happened? Open the door. I need to find something. Mom? 
Can you finally open? Snowmen are taking over our house. They're starting to crowd around our house outside, Mom. Oh, what is that? I don't know. I'm not cleaning it up, though. Oh, do I need to go look in the chimney again? I don't want to. Oh, what happened to this light? Can I turn it back on? <laughs> I think you should have done that earlier. Hi. Come on, Mom. Do I have to vacuum? Oh, I can take it now. I got it. I got the screwdriver. Open the door. Yes. Break in. <laughs> Mom? Where's her light? Ew! She keeps it really messy. Okay, she's not in here. Can I... I can't leave? Well, now what am I gonna do? Where did my mom go? Fish, what do I do? Can I go into my room? Oh, the radio again. Little boy, he found your house and is now looking for the entrance. <gasps> More of the story? Now I'm in a bag with other kids, set for some place remote. We were bad and didn't listen to our parents and their orders. We broke a lot of rules and disrespected borders. Now old Krampus has us and he'll probably sell us off as food. <gasps> this is what you get when you're whiny, mean, or rude. Now have a Merry Christmas and do as you've been told, lest you wind up in a demon bag being dragged upon the road. Ooh. More with the radio. Let's listen. Little boy, he found. He found? He found what? The snowman outside? Especially this one? With the realistically creepy googly eyes? Where is he? Here he is. Hi. Should I run? I should run. I can't sprint. The snowman's blocking. Hey! Ah! Okay. Hey! I got a badge. It says now you're dinner. But... Unfortunately, you have become a victim of Krampus, who has kidnapped you and turned you into a treat for his festive Christmas table. Ending two. How do you avoid him? Can I actually outrun him? That was very creepy. Well, I gotta go back in and get the second ending. So if that was ending number two, I gotta get ending number one. And it says the story will be available until January 13th, so I played this just in time. Ah! Oh! Okay, that still scared me. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, let's see if I can get the first ending. Grab the screwdriver again. Hopefully I can get out somehow. Mm. All right, there it is. So how am I supposed to get out of here? Okay, here we go. He's gonna burst through that door. How do I escape? Go through here? Get out? How do I leave? Ah! He's caught in the door. How do I escape? He glitched. I can't get out of the window. Okay, that was not supposed to happen. All right, here it is again in the chimney. You ready? Wee, I see you. <laughs> Don't look back. Here we go, one more time. Wah! Oh, okay, I forgot. Forgot about that one again. That's such a good jump scare. It's so good. Here we go. See if I can get the first ending. So there he is. Go around. Okay, go out the front door. Run. Run. I got it! It's just a dream award. Is it? Waking up from a bad dream, you were relieved to find yourself in a warm and cozy bed. It was still dark outside, but you already knew it was Christmas. You stood up and walked into the living room to turn on the light. Soft, multicolored light filled the room with a festive mood and all your fears immediately disappeared. And just in case, you decided to burn a strange book. <gasps> yes! Got it! So we did actually get to see both endings. Yay, that was so exciting! Okay, the developer's son did such a good job voice acting in this. I enjoyed the story. Where's she going? Unicorn puppy, what are you doing? I love the short, creepy stories, and I'm happy you do too. There's gonna be more fun coming up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, beautiful cookies! Bye.